when I was a Christian some time ago now, I uh, really believe that only Christianity, only Jesus taught that what really mattered was, you know, your heart, your intentions, the purity of your motivation. And of course, how wrong I was. And I just reminded of that again today in these two really brief but beautiful little gems of Hadith, uh, which I uh, come across. Um, they're both very well known. One of them goes like this. Verily Allah does not look at your outward form and wealth. Rather, he looks at your heart and your deeds. Uh, that's in Sahih Muslim 2564. Another very famous hadith. It's the first one in the Bukhari collection of hadith. It goes like this. Actions are but by intentions and each man will have but that which he intended. That's Sahih al-Bukhari number one. And I'm reminded of even in the Gospels we have now in Matthew, Mark and Luke in the New Testament, how Jesus criticises those Pharisees and the scribes who delight in outward form, you know, praying in a very public way, giving charity very ostentatiously and publicly and saying, no, 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 this is all wrong. You know, you're like whitened sepulchres. That's an expression used, meaning you're like a, a grave on the outside. It's a white grave, very clean and shiny, but inside you're full of rotten bones. And he says that in uh, Matthew's Gospel. And, and that's exactly what the same sentiment here. Uh, actions are but by intentions, and each man will have that which he intended. So if your piety, uh, your good works, are to please God as an act of worship, um, to alleviate harm, to bring relief to the poor. If that's your purpose, your intention, God will, re will know that and he will re reward you for it, it says in this Hadith. But if, like some of those Pharisees, you do it for show, to get praise from men, Jesus says, you have your reward. You have your reward. In other words, you have that praise from men. You won't get any reward from God. So this again reminds me uh, if we needed yet more evidence of how similar um, the teaching of uh, Muhammad and the teaching of Jesus is. Peace be upon them both. At the very heart of the things, the things that matter, uh, their teaching is one. And why is this? Well, many would say, Muslims would certainly say, they come from the same divine source. So you'd expect them to be essentially identical. And indeed, the evidence suggests they are. Till next time.